Hi, we are going to learn about evolution of limits. So, for the limit of a rational function, normally it can be found by direct substitutions. So, the function will be in terms of fx over 3x. After the direct substitution, we will have a four possible case. So, firstly, you will get a constant number. Or maybe we will get a zero at the numerator or the zero at the denominator. And the last one is both with zero. So, let us look at four example. For the example A, after the direct substitution, okay, we get that numerator denominator is a ratio of 3. So, that will be the constant number. B, after the direct substitution, numerator with the 0 but the denominator with a 4. So, logically, 0 over 4 or 0 over any constant number, the answer, it must be always 0. So, how about the other two cases? So, the example C and D will show you the example when the 0 over 0. So, denominator is 0, there's a 0 of factor. And the example D is also denominator with 0. The only different part is the numerator is a constant number. So these two, we cannot say that with the direct answer, but we call it indeterminate form for the example C. And the example D, we will call it infinite limit. Okay, what is called infinite limit? Infinite limit, it can be denoted as positive infinity. Or negative infinity so how we make a differences between it so when the function increase without bound or decrease without bound when the x approaches a from the left and right so when it's decreased we will call it negative infinity when it is increased without bound it will be denoted as a positive infinity so this is the example left side limit and right side limit with the opposite direction so this is what we call it limit does not exist if the limit exists it must be both increasing or both decreasing so let us look at the other example from the calculator when we key in the value approaches one from left or right we found that the value is increased without bound so we can conclude that the limit for this function when x approaches 1, it can be positive infinity. Let's get some example in finding infinite limit. So these are two different examples with the different denominator. We need to find the left and right side limit and also determine whether the limit exists or not. At last, we need to sketch a graph. So, start from the example A. When the x approaches 0 or from left or from right, we know that x squared algebraically is always positive. So, from here, we can get that the limit will be 0 plus for the denominator, no matter it's from the left side or right side limit. So the overall ratio 1 over 0 plus, we get that both with the positive infinity. We can conclude that the limit exists but undefined with the positive infinity. So the graph it will be looks like when getting closer to zero from left going up from right also going up. Example B The denominator is a linear function x minus one. It can be positive, it can be negative. So approaches one from left is the interval less than one. Therefore, x minus 1 less than 0 denote 0 minus. After we substitute the 0 minus, the overall ratio is a negative. 
when we approach one from the right means that x is greater than 1 the interval will be greater than 0 which is the not the denominator is a 0 plus with the ratio positive infinity how's the graph looks like so we put the one as a boundary getting closer one from the left is a negative infinity from the right is a positive infinity we can conclude that the limit does not exist let's get it some example of the assessment give it a try you can make it